motherfucking Juzo. Of course, you have to bring it to them. It's like you have to bring the fight to everyone. I don't need no fucking Kakajo. I don't need no nothing. Just give me my prosthetic leg and a bunch of knives and we be fucking some ghouls up. That is what I love about Juzo. Going in fucking balls deep, giving no fucks and all that. So the auction, it finally begins. We have Mutsuki there, like, shitting the sellers, like, okay, Mutsuki's in a bad spot right now, thinking, it's like, okay, like, I just gotta keep my fucking cool, calmly analyze the situation, and Uta, out of nowhere, which a lot of people seem to, like, get me, like, mistaken from last week's chapter, I was really excited for, like, Uta to come in, I just didn't think he was, like, made to the most in last week's chapter, but this one, he's been a lot more mysterious and playing it all down a lot, it's like, hmm, this one has a very unusual smell and stuff like that, and it was like, yep, Mutsuki's, like, a one-eyed ghoul, and everyone just starts losing their shit like the entire crowd is like oh my god a rare breed because remember last time like with Kaneki and all that when he got and showed into Tsukiyama's restaurant people were like oh god I want a taste of that and Tsukiyama wanted to make sure no this taste should be for me like you know and now that they've got one eye go off to the plate and all that it's like well this is a rare it's like you know please understand our beloved guest that this will be raised quite a fair price and all that and just the price just goes up it's like, okay, 10 million, people got 15 million, like, all kind of fucking money is being thrown around right now, and it's just like, yo, who does the fucking just, this manipulative piece of shit, he just made sure that they just made a fucking profit, like, out of this entire, like, endeavor right now, and it's like, Musuki's like, oh my fucking god, what is happening, and all that, am I going to be killed, and all that, it's like, like, please save me, like, Sasuke, and it's like, one thing that was very weird, it's like, like, Uta, like, tapped, like, Mutsuki and saying something into it, like, and whispered something to Mutsuki, and I'm like, what is it that he said? Like, he was saying something that maybe he's, like, relax or something like that, or maybe he's, like, said some really fucked up thing to, like, Mutsuki or something like that. I'm kind of fucking curious about that, but it's like, no, once we started getting into the hundred millions and stuff like that, it was like, yo, fucking Madam was there offering, like, everything, Kane was there as well, often saying, like, he was thinking, like, this must be the flavor, this must be something that can bring back his master, you know, Shukiyama can come back after, if he has on the ears, like, you know, she's making sure that she can try and get this prize and all that, and even her, and just seeing, like, out of nowhere, when you see fucking, like, after everything that happened, like, like I'm pretty sure that's Nutcracker, like, like, start, like, licking and start, like, kissing, like, Mutsuki, and I'm like, what the Fuck, like, yeah, that's some kind of weird, freaky shit going on right there, and it's like 200 million for, like, this whole thing, and it's like, Jesus Christ, like, that kind of went down, and Mutsuki seems to be a little bit fucked right now, and, like, everyone's like, okay, after all that, let's get back to the normal agenda, and we'll introduce this dull, like, beautiful girl, and Juzo just comes out, people don't know about Juzo, and they're like, yo, this is almost like a doll and all that, and it's saying, yeah, let's start the rest of the and, like, Juzo's just like, there's no need for that, I fucking boom, like, that fucking leg just comes apart with all of these fucking knives coming out and I'm like, oh my god, Juzo, how I have missed you. He's the fucking man. <laughs> Come, he don't get no fucks. He'll dress up as a girl pull some fucking knives out of his leg and it's just, I love the fucking face that he puts out. It's like just this fucking rape face. It's like, stabs fucking Uta in the eyes. I'm like, oh my god. Like, you know, a fucking knife for each hole and all that. And I'm like, a fucking prosthetic. People lose their shit. Juzo's going there fucking killing people. He don't give no fucks. And all he does, like, there's like, you know, people say, ah, Suja, you know, those are the integrated. And Suja just turns it around. It's just like, looks a big was some fucking insane shit i love that and it's like right at the end is all that and, and she, all she says my little juzo and it's just the doors are like yo so <laughs> fucking juzo went ape shit we're fucking going to begin the operation and i'm like ah, 
<laughs> that's one thing I didn't want to see. I, I, see, that's one thing I've just been missing from Juzo because we just been seeing Juzo like that. Like, I just want to see that psycho nut job Juzo again. It's like, okay, one thing because I am highly sure either that's a fake like Uta or something like that, like they brought in a fake Uta. Either that or Uta's like not gonna die from that because like he, if if he just died from that, I'm gonna be like holy shit. But it's like damn, fucking just a bunch of knives went into him like that. He had about like three of those knives go into him, and he was like oh fuck shit, like went fucking down because like the fucking clown was just let no a period just bounced so. I'm pretty sure, like, Uta isn't dead from that, but it's like, I just love the fucking rape face. It's like, I'm sorry, Chusa, you're just a fucking boss-ass character. Just stamp your fucking ground, fucking pull out your knives, and it's like, yeah, let's fucking shit go, because that's how you fucking roll in. Like, overall, this is, like, one of the best chapters of Ghoul that we've had. Up, to, like, I put this chapter up here with the whole, like, you know, Sasaki reveal sort of stuff like that. Like, Sasaki being revealed back to that is connect key and all that i fucking love that i always thought that was some beast ass shit and it's just like i'm really excited for next week's chapter because like all the fucking inspectors are gonna go in and it's like time to fucking clean house you know what i'm saying but this is a great chapter honestly loved it juzo made this chapter juzo made this fucking chapter and just the end it's like you know begin that operation Ah, so this is a 9 out of 10. This was a really exciting chapter. Real great time to be reading Ghoul and all that. And, you know, people be, like, seeing all that. I've been seeing a few people like, oh, I'm not being really enjoying Ghoul that much. Well, this is the chapter. It's just been a lot of build-up, and I respect build-up, but it's like, as a weekly reader, yo, build-up can be a little bit of a bitch sometimes, but these are the chapters when we have that payoff. It's like, yeah, begin the operation. That's all for me, so thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys next time.